Hey guys, this is Arleman. Um This is going to be the first of a couple tutorials for some of my friends and uh, former guildmates from other MMOs uh, that were interested in some of the mechanics of Black Desert Online. I'm going to go over fishing today. Um, fishing is definitely one of the better pastimes in Black Desert. There are quite a few crafts involved. I know quite a few of you are fishermen. Um, needless to say, Black Desert Online is an extremely pretty game. Um, there are some issues with the engine rendering, but I'll go into that with the overall tutorial um, video I'll make in probably in a couple of days. So, a couple things to know about fishing. Fishing requires two things. You need energy. Uh, energy is a statistic, the 79 out of 79. Energy is a statistic that you get um, from building knowledge. Knowledge is accrued as you talk to NPCs, complete quests, find new things, gather new items, what have you. Energy recovers over time. Um, and if you own a house, it recovers faster if you're lying in bed. Um, the game is very alt friendly because your alts share your energy cap but have individual energy pools. So you can be putzing around on one character while your offline characters are regenerating energy. So technically you have um, your total energy is based on your max cap times how many characters you have. Uh, there's a couple things that are, sh that are shared between alts, but uh, energy is kind of the notable one. Anyway, um, so you need energy because depending on how you fish, you can consume it. You need obviously water, someplace where you can fish, and you need a fishing rod. So fishing rods have durability. Um, the starter one only has 30, and as you fish it will break. It's not worth it to repair it, um, simply because they're only 500 silver. Not a big deal. So, once you have the fishing rod equipped, or any fishing rod, uh, you do not need bait. However, there is an item that you can use called paste bait that does a decrease the wait time for fishing. So we're going to go ahead and ch kind of chum the water here. Now I'm using a controller, which is why you see the prompt there saying A, otherwise it's space bar. Um, now, depending on how long you hold down A, you start to consume energy, which allows you to throw the line faster, gives you a better chance for better fish. However, a little trick is, is that it doesn't start consuming energy until you get to 10. So we're going to go to like 9, and then we'll toss. As you see, I'm still 79 out of... Oh! Hmm, alright, never mind, just kind of move spots here. Sometimes if you're too far away from the water, it'll toss it back. So we're going to go hang out with this dude here charge up some more energy and toss. Okay. So, while you're fishing, you have a couple options here. You can go to you can choose to AFK fish, which if you don't do anything at all for 3 minutes, you'll go into AFK mode. Um, and you can see the little click box up there that says throw away useless items caught during auto fishing. The reason why you'd want to do that is because inventory space is extremely limited and fish do not stack. So you need to make sure that you have space, and as well as fishing rods, because fishing rods do break if you're AFK fishing. I recommend that you do not AFK fish, because the problem that we're running into now is that there are hundreds of people parked along the Velia coast that are auto-fishing, and as you see here how it says fi uh, fishing resources abundant, um, it depletes that and doesn't give it a chance to recover. So now that I've caught a fish, we are going to enter the minigame which you have to click it in just the right time, and then you have kind of like a captcha, or um, directions. So just caught our first fish, caught a butterfly fish. You do have a fishing log, and uh, it does give you XP. As you see fishing, I'm still a beginner. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fish again. So, but as I was saying, as far as the fishing resources, um, it can go from abundant to normal to scant to completely exhausted. Um, all along the Velia coast, close to the, the port city, is completely empty. doesn't mean that you can't fat catch anything, but as you see, it takes roughly about 30 seconds to grab a fish when it's abundant. When it's empty, it takes upwards of 5 minutes or more to even get a bite and the chances of you actually getting fish versus garbage like fish bones is pretty high. So <clears throat> if you ever see that your resources are um, are completely exhausted, find someplace else. Um, generally, if you just move a little bit further down the coast or someplace else, um, 
If you want to take fishing seriously, build yourself a boat or take the ferry out to one of the islands um, where it's a lot less crowded and you have more opportunities. Uh, do not be like one of those people sitting on the coast, uh, sitting on the pier. All right. So, by the way, if you get a perfect, you automatically fish up the fish. It's a weak bite. Uh, fish hook, nothing really useful. Um, depending on the, the the rarity and size of the fish, the directions, the um, the little mini game that you play uh, gets considerably longer. Can be as little as two directions. Can be as long as uh, I think nine. And it's not just up, down, left, right. It actually also includes the diagonals as well. So uh, playing with the controller does make this part much easier. Uh, but fishing, as you can see now, I'm, I'm not consuming any energy because I have not used any casts greater than 10, or greater than 9. If you get to 10, it will immediately suck 10 points out of your energy. Uh, energy gets regenerated over time. It's one energy every three minutes, or if you're sleeping, three energy every three minutes. That's only if you have a bed. So, as you can see, all right, we're going to go ahead and grab. I'm going to see if I can get a perfect. Up close. As you can see, that's a big one. All right, got an amberjack. And I'm going to show you, you can just cast normally with zero energy, and it generally gives you garbage. But since this is kind of a higher level area, it should be okay. So while we're waiting on the next fish, <clears throat> a couple points I want to uh, touch on. Um, fishing, the reason why fishing is so awesome in Black Desert is it's not just used for cooking, um, it's actually used for trading. So, if you look, the fish that I've just caught, where well, was the amberjack? There's the amberjack. As you can see here, uh, it is caught in Velia, yeah. and it has a price of 2140 It's got 23 hours, 58 minutes to get 100% market price. Um, now what you would do is that you would take this fish to a trader in any city. Um, of course, the city has to be connected via nodes to wherever you fished it from. So since this is originating in Velia, you need to make sure that uh, wherever you sell it, as you have a trade route to Velia. So that way you get all of your um, you get all of the value. If the nodes are not connected. And um, let me take the f let me take the rod off so I can explain so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so map in Black Desert is ginormous. So the city that that fish came from, we're still considered under Valia, which is this city here. And you see all these little things shooting off of it are nodes. As I get closer, if you, the yellow lines are actually connected nodes, the white lines are nodes that are con that are connectable but not connected. So when you start trading, and this also goes for when you're like doing, when you're using the wagon to actually do physically over land trading, like let's say you buy something or fish something over here in Olvia, all right, um, you have 24 real time hours to sell the fish, um, and you can sell it anywhere that has a trade vendor. Generally, most towns, but as you can see, still connected with yellow lines here. If I really wanted to make a lot of money, I would actually sell it probably all the way over here in Calpheon, which is the main city, which is from Alvia to Calpheon is roughly about 30 minutes by horse. There is no quick travel. There is no there is no sand park MMO convenience. This is old school, you know, which actually adds a lot to the game. You actually really have to work at some of these things. But as you saw, the item itself cost roughly 2140 that's at a hundred percent market value if I tried selling it in Calpheon which is roughly half a continent away I would get a 30 percent bonus on top of that in addition to an additional bonus based on the the, the uh, distance between Velia and Calpheon which is the area where the fish was fished and where it's sold now there's actually market price as well which takes into into account how many of those items are sold in that city so using energy, our little do-everything stat, you can actually check the market prices um, at any trader in other cities so you can decide what's going to be the best place to sell it. Now you can also choose to steam it. 
Um, when you steam fish, or dry it out, when you dry fish, like here, dried gamard, I've got some dried dolphin fish, um, it decreases the price. As you see, they're not really worth anything. However, they don't spoil, and they, they stack. As you see here, I've got two butterfly fish. They don't stack. If I dried them both, they'd be able to stack like this dried dolphin fish. Um, and of course, dried fish can be used in recipes. You can choose to use fresh fish as well, but there are only so many slots for, that you can put into for ingredients. So if you're planning on using fish for cooking, drying it is always a good idea. So um, to dry, you always want to make sure that you're in an area where there's no water. So, and if it's raining, forget about it. So here's a decent area. Um, we are going to choose production. We're going to choose to dry an item, and we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead with some price. We'll dry we'll, we'll dry the butterfly fish, and you can actually process all the identical items, which are going to be all of the same ones. Takes a little bit of time. And you actually have a stat for that as well, called processing. Still a beginner, so um, it'll never fail, but it sometimes your attempts won't work. As you can see, that one just worked. I just got knowledge about it, so that'll actually contribute towards my energy level experience. All right, and sometimes you actually can get critical dries or you can dry uh, one fish and get multiple dry fish. So now that we've dried the fish, um, you can see now that they are now stacked. So we have two butterfly dry fish. So um, that's basically how fishing works. Um, and if you haven't figured it out, as I said before, I'm using a controller. Works pretty well. But um, those of you who remember fishing on the ferry in uh, Final Fantasy XI, Salbina, same kind of stuff here. You don't really have pirates, at least I haven't encountered any yet. There's also craft-specific gear that you can find or be rewarded. Um, I actually have a set of fishing uniform here, but my fishing level is not high enough to wear it. Um, but uh, this is just one small aspect of many of the things that you'll find in Black Desert. Um, you can, you know, there's gathering as far as mining, herbology, or skinning. Um, any animals that you can kill, you can choose to either skin them for their hide. You can either use the butcher knife to to uh, cut them for meat, um, or you can use a fluid extractor to pull out blood and body fluids that are used in alchemy. So pretty in-depth stuff. Unfortunately, you can't do all of that to one corpse. That would kind of be gross. Um, but I'll go over that when I talk about uh, hunting and stuff, but I knew some folks were asking me about fishing, so this is pretty much how it works. Um, as you see, all the islands out there, you can go anywhere you want in Black Desert. It is a completely seamless world. There's no instancing. Well, I lied. Um, the housing is instanced, but everything else in the game is not. So, um, oh, this is a hard one. New fish, Gumar 25. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, my little fishing tutorial, just to kind of give you uh, a heads up. When you first start the game, as soon as you get to Velia, there are there's a quest that will give you a fishing rod and kind of give you a tutorial. Um, right now, it's going to be kind of difficult to complete because, as I said, <coughs> the Velia coast is overrun with people, but. Um, it just kind of depends on what time of day you play, and also, since even though I'm far away from the city, uh, from the city of Velia, this area is still considered Velia, so you can still complete some of those quests. But this is a little bit of higher level area, so I have not been able to catch a mud skipper here, which is one of the fish that you need for like, one of the beginning quests. I have caught mackerel out here, which is a part of the daily repeatable, but. Um, there is actually a fishing log as well. Where's my knowledge tab? Let me show you that real quick. Go to your fish guide. It'll tell you about... It's odd. Okay. So. Okay, here we go. So other kinds of fish. Which ones you found? Huh. 
Okay, here. I think it's under... Nope. Can't view knowledge while I'm fishing. Um, but you do have a fish log. I'm just having a brain fart as to how to figure out, to remember how to pull it up. Anyway, I hope you found this, uh, this little guide um, informative, and uh, look forward to the next one. Hope you guys have a great day.